I can't see a photo of Burgess Meredith as a penguin and not go. <laughs> How awesome was he as the penguin? I do have a soft spot uh, for the the movie, the Batman. Uh, Batman the movie. Um, you know where it's got all all the villains in one. I mean, how can you not love a movie with shark repellent? If no one put shark repellent in his movie, I'd go see it. Bat shark repellent. My apologies. Not bat shark, but bat shark repellent. But a bat shark would be cool. <laughs> yeah, but it's so it's so ridiculously classic. I mean, it's it's. It's so awful that you kind of have like a, a weird respect for it in a way, you know. I don't know. It's not, I mean, it, it's just so ridiculous. Uh, it was it's just so ridiculous you know it's it, it doesn't expect you to take it seriously that's another thing that that, that actually bugs me about the Nolan films is I, I don't I don't think I, I don't think that that taking superheroes and, and plugging them into the real world to such a degree is a good thing I think that there needs to be an element of not silliness but definitely uh, absurdity to the world that they inhabit, you know? Yeah, but see, you only say that because all you, all Adam West is known for is the camp of Batman. It's not like he, you know, he's really done anything else that, that has, you know, Given him a reputation for that. I mean, he's been trading off of that for his entire career, pretty much. So. It's kind of like saying it's kind of like taking uh, saying well it's Shatner, and judging him based based solely off of everything he's done after Captain Kirk, you know, where he kind of morphed into a parody of Shatner. He's Shatner doing Shatner, you know. Yeah, but but again, on Family Guy, he he's not there because he's you know Adam West actor. He's there because he's Adam West, former TV's campy Batman, you know. I mean, he might as well have done uh, porn for for all for all the seriousness that, that he's given as an actor. But the thing is, I guess my point is, he it's not like he's asked for serious. He's not like he's asked to be taken seriously. He you know he did Batman and and that's pretty much all he's done ever since. You know. Has he done anything that that would in any way detract from his role as Batman? I can't think of anything. I honestly can't. Oh, sure. I mean, if you find something that's successful and, and can make you an honest living that brings people you know, joy, I, I'm not I'm not in any way trying to, you know, impugn that. Um, you know, he, he found his, his thing and, and he does it, and he does it well. You know, it's great that, that he that he embraced it and has been able to make a, a living off of it. I, I really do believe that. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to make the point that 
it's it's you know to to sort of I don't know, never mind. I'll shut up. <laughs> Scott, you're only actually enhancing my point by saying he was on Love Boat. <laughs> <laughs> Whose side are you on? Good night, baby doll. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I'm sorry. Good night, Hothwampa. Thanks for stopping by. I guess you're saying good night to him. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out with us and buying a Yoda. Yep, yep. But the th but I I I might end up um, not doing one next week. Next week is actually uh, um, going to be a big day here uh, because I'll be doing. Uh, um, digital auctions all day and depending on how I feel <laughs> come 9 p.m. at the end of the night I, I might not be doing a 7-7 uh, a seven, seven Sunday so but yeah be when you gotta wait two, two weeks I'll shut up now I'm just babbling Thanks. And thanks for buying it. Well, I think it was a safe assumption, though. Everyone did love boat. That actually makes it uh, um, kind of funny, the fact that he didn't do Love Boat, you know? See you next time. Oh, thanks, Bedlam. I got so much stuff that uh, is like this close to being finished. I'll be posting by the end of the week. Hopefully, I'll be able to post all the indie stuff. Uh, uh, not this coming week, but the following week with uh, all the story stuff written out.
You'd think the producers would have had him on dancing the Patusi with Charo, but I guess not. Seems like a no-brainer, right? Mix three colors for this one. Uh, the one from the movie. Was that, was that Julie Newmar who did the one who was in the movie? Oh, Lee Merriweather. Oh, that's right. That was Lee Merriweather. Jeez. So it was Lee, Lee Merriweather then. I like the, the double role she played. She had great interaction with uh, the other characters too, with Frank, Frank Gorshin, especially. I thought they worked well together. Yeah, let's keep going. Really? That's funny.
Thanks, baby doll. Uh, yes, wasn't uh, wasn't John Aston the Riddler in an episode or two? Yeah, it didn't quite uh, work the same as much as I love John Aston. I guess he's better when he's playing a diff different flavor of crazy. But part of it was he, if I remember correctly, he kept the mus the mustache. Yeah, it did, just didn't quite work, you know? I mean, at least with Cesar Romero keeping his mustache, it was hidden by the grease paint. I don't know about you, but uh, I was in my teens before I realized that, that there was a mustache underneath that grease paint. So. Not really. the The core group works so well. I mean, they're 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 iconic, but they're iconic because they work well. I guess is what I, what I mean. You know that there's just something about them. Once you start getting into, you know, secondary villains, it just sort of becomes. I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. I'm I'm actually kind of shocked they went with uh, Bane for the the third um, swap man film it seems like an odd choice but I mean talk about yawn, yawning yawners yeah I, I, they just King Tut's but I was <laughs> that's what I was thinking of specifically as uh, like being what the heck is this all about But to me, I mean, even characters like Poison Ivy, I would consider secondary uh, villains. You know, um, and the only the only time I ever liked Clayface is in the Batman animated series episodes he was in. For some reason, they they knew how to do Clayface really well.
There's the penguin. Penguin!